time to talk snow. And if you think <laughs> you've got it bad, you're about to meet somebody who thinks, frankly, we don't know what we're talking about. Yes, Kate indeed. Watkins is actually from the Salford Advertiser, but uh, you're not a Salford lass, are you, Kate? Welcome to Channel M today. Where are you from? I'm from Wisconsin originally. Oh, no, that's in the United States. It's so for those of us picturing a map, where roughly is Wisconsin? Um, if you can think of where the lakes are, yep. um, the Great Lakes, it's one of those states. I grew up three hours north of Chicago. So it's kind of top right-hand corner-ish of the it's, United States. Yeah. <laughs> um, and minus 17 we had in Woodford yesterday. Minus 17.6 was the coldest on record here. How does that compare with where you're from? Um, it's cold, but it's been colder where I've grown up, where I grew up. Um, when I, a couple years ago, my, my now husband and I went to an American football game in Green Bay, which is a couple hours north of where I'm from. So the Packers play. It is. Um, and <laughs> it was... The high was actually about minus 17, um, throw in the wind chill, and, it, you know, it was negative 30 degrees out. And it, now, you say you went to a football game. Was the game on? It was on. Oh, they don't Ooh. mess around in Green Bay. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's no, minus 30, wimps. and they're still playing naked football, <laughs> and you call them wimps wearing that padding. <laughs> hey, they know how to do it. So what about uh, the amount of snow you receive? I mean, we're talking about five or six-foot drifts and getting all panicky about it. Yeah, I mean, that's it is a lot of snow. I mean, I don't want to be a snow snob and say it's, it's nothing <laughs> at all. But, I um, think you just invented a new phrase. <laughs> I never knew there was such snob, a thing. Snob, I like that. Uh, um, but my, where, where my parents, uh, before my, my parents now live in Colorado, but anyways, uh, in Wisconsin where I grew up, there was like 100 inches last year. Wow. So um, my, my sister took a picture of our, the mailbox and it was just covered in all these drifts after the plows came and plowed the streets. Um, so it's a lot, but you just, you have to get used to it and you just learn to cope with it. I mean, walk to school, no problem, that sort of thing. I mean... Yeah, we have snow days, but you probably need a, a good foot of snow before they'll even think about it. OK, so on a positive note, then, have you got some coping strategies for us Brits here that seem incapable of getting anywhere in the <laughs> snow that we've had? What would your advice be to us? Um, I think my first tip would be f wear some practical shoes, because I know it's slick out there. I've, I've felt it myself, but, you know, heels are lovely. They're fabulous, but come on, when it's icy outside, you don't want to be in them. Get some boots, get your wellies <laughs> okay, on I'll it. I'll make a note of that. <laughs> I've um, seen you in your wellies, Mr. Crane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, second, if if you if you own a house and, and you want to just get out a bit, you know, sand works, kitty litter works really well. Just put a bit of it on the ice and it'll help. Um, you know, the, it, the advice you all you all know you all have it. Um, but you know, bundle up instead of turning your heat way on. That's a good way to conserve a bit of energy. Is just put on your layers so you don't feel like your heating bill's going to go through the roof. And I'm liking that too. Yeah. <laughs> Bundling up, up, save pennies. Kids put on an extra jumper. <laughs> say Kate said from Wisconsin, said it was the right thing to do. It'll sound impressive because you're American, you say. Mm, they love all that American stuff. I mean, we're talking about what for us is extreme weather. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is far worse than we're normally used to. You've talked about the norm for Wisconsin. Does mm -hmm. Wisconsin ever get extremes that would make, you know, your minus 17, minus 30 seem extremely, extremely to you, if you're following me? Um, well, that minus 17, minus 30 is pretty extreme. That's pretty extreme, isn't um, it? You know, you talk about, you know, they talked about it being cold, you know, temperatures freezing, if you will. That's kind of your high in January, really, growing up. Um, <laughs> so it is cold. Um, you know, as for snowstorms, you know, a foot of snow is, is a lot. Um, my sister said they got about six inches last night. Um, six inches, that's nothing. Goodness <laughs> me, tell you what, yeah. all this talk of temperatures makes me glad to be Mancunian. Yeah. <laughs> I know well, thank you very much for coming Have you in. sent pictures of what it's like here to your friends and family back home just to show them? Yeah, they've Do gotten a kick out of it, yeah. Absolutely, well, just tell them that we're, we're, we're dealing with uh, what you deal with every year here mm. and we're uh, thinking it's the worst for 30 years. Nice to see you.